By the end of this video, you'll be able to use filters in Excel to work with reports like the Teacher Assignment Report to quickly show only the desired information you need. Here's the situation. You're the principal of a large K-8 school. You've run the Teacher Assignment Report to quickly see which teachers teach math in grades 6 to 8, how many classes they teach, and how many students are there in each of those classes. How can you use Excel to help filter this information? You have found the information you were looking for by running the Teacher Assignment Report, but you would like to use Excel to help organize and filter the data. Clicking on the Excel button, the report can be saved as an Excel file to your desktop. Save in the desktop and we'll leave it as Teacher Assignment Report. Click Save. And now a copy has been saved to your desktop. Minimizing PowerSchool, we can find and open this file. The first thing that you notice is that the information is jammed into the columns. In other words, the column widths need to be set. To adjust the column widths to fit the data, click on the Select All Columns arrow, located here. Hover over the line between the column headings A and B, and double left click. Note that you can always adjust individual column widths as well. Simply hover over the line separating columns at the top, left click and hold, then drag to make the columns larger or smaller. Similarly, you can adjust row heights individually or all rows by clicking on the Select All arrow and adjusting the height of one row. So once again, individually, or you can select all and then select one of the rows and adjust the height slightly and it'll adjust the height for all the rows. Once you have the data looking pretty, you're ready to add filters. Select the columns with data by hitting Control plus Shift plus 8. This selects all the columns with data that's currently in them. Now, to add filters, click on the Data tab at the top and click Filters. The filters are added as indicated by the arrows at the top of each column. Adjust any column widths if you need to. Adjusting the width slightly will allow you to read all the names and keep the filters intact. To use a filter in any column, click on the little arrow in that column. Several options are provided. You can sort alphabetically in ascending or descending order in that column. You also have several text filters to use if you wish to fine tune a specific filter to your liking. But the easiest form of filter is located at the bottom of the filter window. You can simply filter by selection. For example, you were trying to find out information about the grades 6, 7, and 8 math classes. So in the Classes column, use the filter to select only those classes. Scrolling down, we'll find math 6, 7, and 8. Well, we need to clear them first. Look it down. Math 6, seven and eight. That activates the filters. Hitting OK will filter out all information except the math classes six, seven, and eight. It should be noted that you can filter more than one field at a time. For example, if you want to also see how many classes Teacher 55 teaches, use the filter to look at only math classes taught by Teacher 55. We deselect everybody else, select Teacher 55, hit OK. You now see the math classes 6, 7, and 8 that Teacher 55 teaches. To remove a filter, you can click back on this filter once again, hit Select All, 
and hit OK. And now you see the math classes for 6, 7, and 8 once again. From here, you can find total numbers of students quickly. This is done one of two ways. Select all the cells that have the total number of students by left-clicking and dragging over those cells and selecting them. Here's our totals. Left-click and drag, and it will highlight all those boxes. Once again, left-click and drag. Notice at the bottom, Excel will find the average, the count, which is the number of cells being added together, and the sum. The total number of students taking math in grades 6 to 8 is 104. The second way to get a sum is to, again, select the cells you want a total for, clicking on the Home tab, and clicking on the Auto Sum button. The Auto Sum will automatically add up all the totals and put a sum in this box right here. Note that you can copy and paste this auto sum as well. If I right click and copy, I can paste it here and here. And again, it'll total up the males and the females. There's also a quicker and easier way to copy and paste the auto sum feature. Let me show you. Delete these out of the way. The auto sum was completed in this cell, so click on that cell. Move your cursor over to the right hand corner until a plus sign appears. Left click and hold and drag over the cells you want to copy that auto sum into. Release. And now you have the sum for all the males in this column and all the females in this column. Lastly, to remove any filters, reopen the Data tab, click on Clear, and all the filters would be cleared at that time. Congratulations! You've successfully used Excel filters to work with reports like the Teacher Assignment Report to quickly show only the desired information you need.